By the very definition of being a conductor, you are a collaborator, and that has completely to do with bringing people on board all the time. To avoid a very busy first rehearsal where everyone's confused, I'm a big fan of bowing and marking, where I flip through this brand new score and try to anticipate what problems there are where one could just make a note and eradicate the issue before it even starts. With the notebook, if I'm writing down specific things that I want to fix, that has to do with that project that I'm doing. If I write something in the score, or as I call it during rehearsals, tattoo it into the score, that has to do with phrase direction or coloring or something that I want to keep with me for all of the performances that I might have of that piece in the future. Of course, I always give the disclaimer. These are our parts. They are not just my parts, and I hope that we can discover this music and develop these ideas together. I picked up from a conducting mentor of mine the trick of using sticky notes. It's really helpful to be able to mark every page with a piece of paper. When you finish the run through, you can visually see how many things that we have to do and that allows you to budget your time to work on what didn't go well. There is a collective consciousness of our understanding of music. And the reason that we start on a higher level than the generation before us is because of this medium of paper. The notes become a kind of repository of all of your ideas, and you can see you did something a certain way last time, and they follow you everywhere you go. To go off the page, one has to start on the page, and if it were not for the music, we wouldn't have that ability.